Tonight, we're taking a deep dive into the world of AI. Our AI industry being bigger than the automobile industry is your job, my job, at risk. Now, before you get scared, take a look at the video because this can actually be helpful to us. I want you guys to imagine a world where instead of needing to Google a question you have, you can ask your personal assistant that is an AI. So this is Sebastian Giorgio. Most of you have already heard about him and he's talking about AI. In an ideal world, the AI AI would serve as our assistants, but let's see what he has to say on how we can make money with AI. And this personal assistant can go through thousands and thousands of articles in a matter of seconds and compile the exact answer to your question in 15 seconds or less. One of the AI assistants he's mentioning, I think, is ChatGPT. I've used it and it's pretty good, guys. And no, this personal assistant doesn't wake up at nine in the morning. It doesn't complain. It is there 24 seven. It does not sleep. It does not charge you. It's extremely cheap and you can use it whenever you want. Who can say no to this? It will give you all the help you need and it's all free. Imagine a world where you can automatically generate entire PowerPoint presentations with just the topic of what you're going for and a few keywords. And now imagine a world where you can create pictures or copy or sales scripts or any sort of media you can think of without actually having to create it yourself. Well, I would like to say that all of your dreams have came true because we have just started living in that world. So he's mentioning some basic ideas like copywriting and sales scripts, but these can actually be helpful, guys. If you start to think about it, you can do much, much more than he is mentioning. He's just giving us some minor ideas to get you started. And it's a good thing to mention that I'm not in any way affiliated with Sebastian Giorgio. So anything I say, I'm not earning anything out of it. But I'm gonna list eight to 10 different businesses that you can start leveraging AI. And this video applies to all ages, all types of people. Whether you're an average Joe and you have no time, no money, no skill, you can still leverage AI to make money with a side hustle. All of the current AIs produce content at a very rapid rate. So it shouldn't be a problem if you work a full-time job. I tried to convince people to slow down, to regulate AI. This was futile. It's here and it's only gonna get more dangerous and powerful. Giants are going to walk the earth once more and we're gonna live through that, maybe. These men are not just any men. These are very successful people and they all think that AI will take over the world. So let's see how we can use it to our advantage and actually earn some money from it. Now there's one concept that I'm going to explain to you now that I want you guys to keep in the back of your brain while you're watching this entire video. And that concept is value arbitrage. I'm sure he's going to explain what it is. So let's hear him out. Now value arbitrage is when you take something that has value, inherent value, and you repackage it or make it more convenient for a certain demographic of people and then you sell it to those people for more and keep the profit. It's kind of like a digital drop shipping if that makes it easier to think about. Practically, all the content that you will be using will be already built. You just have to repackage it to make it more attractive to customers. Now here's an example. There are boring old apartments. Say you go and rent a boring old apartment for $2,000 a month and then you add all sorts of cool furniture and games inside of that apartment and then you list it on Airbnb and you end up making three and a half, four thousand dollars $4,000 a month. So the apartment is still the same, but you repackaged it and you're making more money now. And so you have value arbitrage. This is a very basic example of value arbitrage, but indeed a good one. So you just add value to the products that are already there and you sell them on for a higher price. And another example and more appropriate example is Lenza. So Lenza has been around for a while and what they did was they leveraged the open AI and the free ability to create images using AI. They repackaged it into a convenient app and it went viral. So I know that by now you might have already heard of this app or else you have seen the content on Facebook. I know my friends shared a lot of the content on there on Facebook and they had to pay to access the photos. So it was a very good idea and the product was already there. They just repackaged it and made it accessible for new users to use. So the generator, like the actual thing that took your images and turned you into a cartoon version of yourself, that actual tool is free. Anybody can access it. The only thing is, is it's not as convenient as Lenza made it. So that's what I just explained. They made it very easy for an average Joe to use the app. So Lenza took the source code for that AI, they put it into their app, they created a front end that was easy to navigate, user-friendly, and then they promoted it and then, you know, it just became a trend and it went viral. It's easier said than done. It's a very good idea, but to make an app, you would need some knowledge or else you would need to pay someone else to do it. But 
it will cost you. They were making so much money and they had zero overhead. They did not have to pay for this tool is completely free. So that's a pretty crazy concept, right? Like taking something for free and selling it for a million dollars a day. That's incredible. And it's a brand new technology. Yes, it's very incredible, but it's not every day that you get ideas like this. Most of you guys have probably heard of ChatGPT and the explosive increase in the popularity of AI in general over the last couple of weeks. ChatGPT is an AI program that has been trained to use pretty much all of the information available on the internet up until 2021 to answer your questions and execute your requests. I mentioned this in the previous video, ChatGPT is a very powerful tool and it will complete your tasks within seconds. With it, you can find answers to just about any question from book summaries to weird facts to literally correcting your writing or fixing your code, for example. The world is your oyster with this, you can do practically anything and it's only going to get better. However, this isn't even the most powerful aspect of the program. With this publicly available AI, you can actually create text and images. So this is like what I was saying before. And this ability to generate extremely complex work in such a little amount of time with no errors, virtually no errors, is exactly what smart and fast acting entrepreneurs were able to capitalize on already. Now this is truly a game changer. Apart from text, such as copywriting, ChatGPT will also help you to create images, AI generated images. So these will be unique and you can sell them on for money. People don't even have to create businesses using this AI. They're literally just coming up with ideas and selling the ideas. Obviously, it's much better to harness your idea yourself and to create your own business. But if you cannot and you don't have time, with just the idea, you can still make money. So if you have no money and you have no skills, you don't even have to create a business. You can just come up with an idea and go sell your idea. Sit down, drive up to the mountains, I don't know, do something, be alone, like just turn off your phone for like two days and be creative and come up with some ideas and then write those ideas down and then who knows, maybe somebody wants to buy them for 10 grand. If you don't have any particular skill or knowledge into this sector, it will be much harder for you to come up with this idea. Even people already working in this sector have a hard time. It's easier said than done, but it's still possible. You just need to do your research. Going back to ChatGPT, it's pretty crazy if you haven't played with it already. ChatGPT can basically do anything you ask it to do. And it's still pretty new of a tool. As they update it and as it learns, it's going to get smarter and only more efficient. If you still haven't tried it yet, this is your chance to do so. Just go on their website or else type ChatGPT on Google. It's very easy to use, guys. And all you need to do is have an email account to sign up. So after asking ChatGPT about the meaning of life and to give me jokes in the context of the Bible and Dr. Seuss, I started to actually get serious and more creative with them. So apart from the money, ChatGPT can also be entertaining. I went to ChatGPT and I asked it to write a trading strategy in PineScript that buys Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency anytime the RSI dips below 30 and to sell that asset anytime the RSI goes above 70 on a daily candle. All right, so now things are getting a little bit more complicated. He's using Bitcoin as an example, but you can use it with anything. So if you have a little bit of knowledge in coding, especially, you can easily write code with the help of ChatGPT. And it did, it gave me this code. I took the code and with a little bit of adjustments, I was able to upload it to TradingView, back test the trading strategy and the trading strategy won 63% of the time. To conclude this video, the AI is a very powerful tool and you can use it in many different ways. And there's only more to come. We're still in the starting phase. By time, the program will learn more and more. So it will be much more efficient. Now we cannot hide from it. We need to use it to our advantage to start gaining money from it, especially now since it's in the starting phase. Hope this video has helped you to learn a little bit more about AI. Like the video and subscribe to help out the channel. I'll see you in the next one.